Today I have the opportunity to welcome New York State Governor Andrew M. Cuomo to swear in Laura Curran as Nassau County's next county executive. Since he took office, Governor Cuomo has been a friend and a champion for Long Island and especially for Nassau County. Sorry, Steve. The governor understands the challenges we face and is working with the community to build a better future for all Long Islanders. So it is my great pleasure to introduce him today. Please join me in welcoming the 56th governor of New York State, Andrew Cuomo. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Thank you very much. You know it's cold when Chuck Schumer gives a short speech. <laughs> Happy New Year to all of you. First, to uh, all my colleagues who are here, all the elected officials, County Executive Steve Ballone, who's going to be a great partner with Laura Curran. It's a pleasure to be with him. Jay Jacobs, Tom Gary, all the people who work so hard to make today a day of history where we have the first woman Nassau County Executive. That is exciting. And this is the time of the woman, and we needed one, and we have a great one. January 1st. A new year, a new day, a new beginning. Uh, for me, it's a special day. We lost my father on January 1st, a couple of years ago. He had promised me that he would be there for my inauguration. He was. I gave my inaugural speech. He passed away right after the speech. And normally, I stay home and think about him, but my father would want me to be here today because this is a special day and these are no ordinary times and Laura Curran is no ordinary person. On a self selfish level, I'm excited to have a great partner as county executive. We're doing a lot of great things in Nassau. We're rebuilding the Long Island Railroad. Finally, 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 $6 billion project. We are cleaning up the groundwater with the Grumman plume, and we're going to make that happen this year. We're fixing our parks, so we're doing a lot together to have a good partner. And we are under assault by a federal government that is very good at doing bad things to the state of New York. Their tax reform plan can really unsettle this state. It's a real challenge for Nassau with the deductibility of state and local taxes. It's going to make the finances worse. And we're going to need a leader with real courage, real energy, and a leader who understands there is no simple solution. I'm excited that Laura is not a typical politician because there are no typical solutions to what we're going through. Laura has the strength, the courage, the leadership that we need to make a difference and go forward. And we are honored and blessed to have her. I call up now Laura, her husband John, her three daughters, Julie, Claire, and Molly, to step up to the stage to take the oath of office.
Thank you, Governor. And now, I ask everyone to join me in welcoming and giving a big round of applause for our new county executive, Laura Kern. Thank you very much. I talked about a fresh start, but this is ridiculous. Thank you, Governor Cuomo. You are a true champion for Nassau. Look no further than the third track and the redevelopment of Belmont Park. A very special thank you to my husband, John, for your support every step of the way, and to our daughters, Claire, Julie, and Molly. A big thanks to my predecessors who are here with us today. Tom Galata is in the audience, and Congressman Tom Swazi with his blanket on. And I am very grateful to County Executive Mangano for his help and cooperation in ensuring a smooth transition. Thank you, Schumer, you're gone now, but thank you for your kind words. Chuck is a fighter for Long Island and our leading voice in Washington. And I'm delighted that Kathleen Rice is here as well, Congresswoman Kathleen Rice. Thank you for being here. Thanks also to Chairman Jay Jacobs for his unyielding support and to Tom Gary, along with our very hardworking transition team, for their selfless dedication and hard work over the past several weeks. And to our other countywide elected officials, I can't wait to get working with you. District Attorney Madeline Singus, our brand new controller, Jack Schneerman, <laughs> County Clerk Maureen O'Connell. And of course, my colleagues on the legislature, thank you so much for braving the cold and being here today. I also have to give a special congratulations to Town of Hempstead's new supervisor, Laura Gillen, who's here as well. Together, we are going to do great things. Please, a round of applause for all of our dignitaries. Friends, family, and distinguished guests, I am honored to stand here before you today as your county executive. And I am truly humbled by the responsibility you have entrusted in me. Today, I take office fully aware that as county executive, one of my most pressing challenges is restoring trust and respect in our government so that we as a county can chart a new path forward. Over the decades, the erosion of trust has broken down the bonds between people between the government and the people that it serves. But the stakes are too high to allow that to continue. Now is the time for action. We have serious challenges ahead of us. We've got to get our financial house in order and break free of NIFA's control. We've got to fix the assessment system to make it fair and transparent. Yay. <laughs> And it is crucial that we create and begin to implement a vision for dynamic economic development that will grow our tax base, attract good jobs at good wages, keep our young people here, and live up to our immense potential. I firmly believe that we can meet these challenges if we recognize that they are not partisan political issues, they are Nassau issues. And it will take all of us working together in a strong bipartisan manner to deliver real results for the people that we represent. In the words of John F. Kennedy, even more relevant today, let us not despair, but act. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept the responsibility of our own future. John F. Kennedy. And to those who would try to cling to yesterday, who would rather see government work for the political class and not our residents, I have a message for you. Those days are over. Of course we'll have our disagreements, but I truly believe there is no conflict too great for us to resolve, no problem to which we cannot find a solution. Over the next few weeks, I will begin to implement a series of policies to fulfill my pledges to Nassau residents. As promised, I will ban any appointee in my administration of holding a leadership position in a political party. And I'll bar my executive staff from donating to or fundraising for my campaigns. 
I truly believe these simple fixes are a good start toward restoring trust in Nassau government. My colleagues on the legislature have already taken steps to bring in this new era. Just two weeks ago, the legislature unanimously created the Office of Independent Inspector General to keep government accountable. So thank you, legislators. A new vision for Nassau County also includes smart development of our downtowns. The return of the islanders to where they belong, Nassau, and the thousands of jobs that will go with it will be an economic boon for us. Let's keep that momentum going and transform the hub, finally, into an economically vibrant destination. Let's create a more business-friendly atmosphere for everyone in Nassau, one that protects our communities, our environment, and our diverse population. That's why I'm here, to make the tough decisions and smart compromises that will improve the lives of Nassau families. And for my final thank you to the residents of Nassau County, I have heard your call, and now is the time for action. Thank you. Thank you.